The Orphan Brigade is a ghost story set to music. Everything that happened within the documentary happened as stated and is presented without alteration. The documentary follows a group of musicians who spent a year writing and recording an album in the Octagon Hall, one of the most haunted houses in the southern United States. Initially setting out to tell the story of this architectural oddity and the family, soldiers, and servants who lived and died there, the group looked for inspiration via encounters with spirits who had been said to inhabit the hall. They found that and much more. For the first time, the documentary's directors, Nielsen Hubbard and Joshua Britt, will be discussing some of the film's most eventful and intriguing moments. The writing was as simple as us coming into the house. We brought a lot of candles a lot of times. We, we, we did most of it at night, in the dark, and it just kind of pulled something out of us that probably we wouldn't have found writing, you know, here in town in a house or in a studio that's lit up. I mean, it was just a different vibe completely. I think that's a part of the special quality of this record is how we recorded it because we basically turned the Octagon Hall into a studio. So we took a bunch of makeshift gear um, up there um, and put everyone in this big room and basically used the bigness of the house to kind of define the sound. We did it in three days. Everybody got up there and we just, I mean, I think the first day we recorded seven songs, like vocals, everything. We had a guy there that was just sitting in filming with us uh, gave him a camera and just said, you know, gave him a two-minute tutorial of, <laughs> of how to run it and just said go. And he filmed, he was there for the whole, the whole time filming as we were recording the thing. And so we had all this great live footage of it. And then, you know, we spent the next three or four months just going back and experiencing the house and the, these great sunsets and these huge windows of the house, you know, you're just filming through them. And I had a friend named Jim Domain came up and started uh, doing photography with these really old film cameras uh, from the 60s, I believe, and then and just trying to capture as much of the beauty of the place as we, as we could. And Josh and I were kind of the two that were trying to capture the vibe as best as we could um, with both iPhones and, um, you know, decent cameras, but like really getting that up close and personal kind of overall just feeling of what it was like to be in that house. I mean, we'd never made a film before and <laughs> really had to learn everything on the fly. But, you know, it inspired us to spend the next six months of our life really just trying it anyway, you know, and doing it anyway, even though we didn't really know at first what what we were technically doing. <laughs> it inspired us to figure it out and also find some pretty unique ways to capture the bigness of the place. <laughs> 